Alright guys, we are back with Quantum Break Act 2, Part 2. And let's go look at this map finally. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Why? Security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Oh, and he'll be learning time class. Who's shooting? Did I scream that for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. You there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Find the exit. Alley. Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? I don't think so.
Right, taxi guy. Where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. How do I do that? On the map, there's a squiggly line that leads from the door to a big square, and that square has two squigglies leading to little <laughs> circles. What the fuck does that mean? What am I doing here? I don't know, man. I'm not the superhero. Find the door, follow the squiggly line with box, more squigglies, circles, do something. Security turns off. Oh, this one. Okay, security's down. Down? Uh, that was quick. Um. Oh. Wait. Joyce just took out Gatehouse One. You still don't have eyes on him? What, what do they pay you for over there, huh? Nick, I'm on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Meyer Joyce Particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce Particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? Y you don't think he's working for... No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more.
That was close. Nick, I'm in the harvesting warehouse. Oh. Not your average elevator. Jack, I found a bunch of files here by your bro. Monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operations surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. <sighs> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way is the dry dock? You thought it was bad before. It's real bad now. It's okay. Bad. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Oh. This briefcase. The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook what? from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Um, so I just had some exploding barrels. So lady, can you please redefine said stupidness? Um, okay. Close. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. No, you didn't. Can't take a wild guess of that kind of thing. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wet in their pants. The kid's gonna get torn apart like a goddamn pinata. Okay, guys. So I think I'm gonna end Act 2, Part 2 here. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And um, subscribe to watch more and know when more comes out.